Jeff, we yes. did a whole explainer on the North Star. I hope you enjoyed that. That was great. Not, that's not just because we pay you. To no, say. <laughs> no, absolutely. That it was a really good one. I, uh, you know, first of all, you're not. Who knew that you're uh, that the North Star was such a poser? That <laughs> yeah, it's very much a poser. Yeah. Very much. actually, it's not its fault. It's people want it to be so special, it, and it just right. isn't. So I want. I have more to tell you about how unspecial it is. Oh, awesome. <laughs> We're 49th. So, We're 49th. We're 49th. Yes, for those who missed it, the North Star is the 49th brightest star in the night sky. Right. And in the night sky, it's not saying, here I am. Right. It is not doing that. All right. So, but wait, there's more. Earth spinning on its axis, and it's at its North Pole points upwards, close-ish to where the North Star is on the sky. All right. What I didn't tell you is... I, I don't know. No one has them anymore. Do you ever play with tops as a kid? I did. That's how old of I am. Of course. You play with the top, and it spins, and then eventually begins to wobble? Right. Okay. Right. Okay, we have an official term for that. It's called precession. Precession. That is wobbling. Cool. Precession. That's an official term. So, Earth wobbles. Okay. So, we spin once in how often? How long does it take to spin once? 24 hours, I guess. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you want to be precise, it's actually 23 hours and 56 minutes and four seconds. Wow. In case, you, that, but that's another explainer. Well, you know, why do we think it's 24 hours when it's actually that? Okay. I will, that's a whole other, we'll, we'll save that. Okay. With your permission. Cool. Okay. All right. So, uh, we spin once in 24 hours and we wobble. And the wobble takes 26,000 years. The wobble takes 26,000 years. Correct. So we've wobble. only really completed one wobble since caveman days, right? Wow. You know, 30,000 years ago. Right. So that's slow. And it took some very careful measurements and brilliant thinkers throughout the last thousand years, 2,000 years, to figure this out, that this is actually happening in the actual sky. All right, so now, because we're wobbling, it means the North Pole of Earth isn't always pointing towards the North Star. Uh huh. And we called it Polaris. But wait a minute, if it's no longer, gonna, if later on it's not going to point to Polaris, not only is it not the North Star, should we keep calling it Polaris? Or just sort of grandfather in, well, that's what I once was right. back in the day. <laughs> exactly. All right. So if you look at that circle, the diameter of that circle is in degrees is 23 and a half degrees. Okay. Okay? Because that's how tipped we are from vertical. From, all right. Okay? We, that's Earth. That's what gives us our seasons, the fact that we're tipped. So we tip that, and then we process around that central point. All right. So if you draw that circle on the sky... Yes, it will go through the North Star, because that's what it is now. But any other stars that it comes near? One of the stars in the night sky, I think you, you've heard of it. It's called Vega. Okay. Vega is one of the brightest stars of the night sky. It's about 30 light years away. Okay. We think there's a, 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 a planetary system forming around it. We see a disk of material that's not quite discrete planets, but it's kind of... It's, it's working its way towards forming planets. So we know some stuff about Vega. In 14,000 years, the wobble will take the North Pole axis close enough to Vega for that to be our pole star. Gotcha. And in ancient Egypt, that was long enough ago, you know, 4,000, 5,000 years ago. That's an appreciable fraction of the 26,000 years. They had a different pole star than okay. the North Star. Right. So in recorded history, civilizations have had different pole stars. And only right now is it what we're calling Polaris. Wow. Okay, that so there's is... there's nothing magical or permanent about it. Wow, it's like being in Menudo. 
<laughs> Does anyone under 50 even know no, what that reference no, means? No, they have no idea what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know, Menudo was a boy band, and they just kept swapping out members, one of which was Ricky Martin. Oh, I forgot about That's that. That's right. Yeah, so Menudo was not a set of names. Right. It was a concept. It was a concept. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and, and it always had swapped out a... the members as they as they would age out. They'd be like 18. Yeah, they like, age out. That's what it was. Yeah. Sorry, Manuel. Your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go, bro. You're wait, 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 wait. You are now a man. You, you must join the man <laughs> band <laughs> instead of the boy band. You can't be in a boy band anymore. You are, yeah. So that's pretty wild. Right. Yeah, so the North Star is a concept, and we, sometimes we, you won't have one. When it's sort of between other two stars, we're not going to have a North Star. That's dope. I got. It. I love it. That is the most interesting thing about the North Star, is that the North Star, one, is not the North Star, and two, it ain't even, it's not even going to be there. <laughs> it's not even going to be there in a few thousand years. <laughs> and it's not even in the top 40. And it's not even the top 40, you know? That's yep. That, that's pretty wild. All right. That is totally wild. Now, North there's Star one other the, thing. It's the con man of all stars. <laughs> don't blame. No, don't blame the star itself. It, it's, okay. You fraud. Well, I got one more thing. The North Star is a fraud. Go ahead. <laughs> I got one more thing. You ready? All right. All right. One of the consequences of the procession. Right is that the sun is in a different part of the sky at the same time of the year. In other words, right now, pick a month, okay? Right. Uh, so I'll, I'll pick, let's pick October. Okay. And so October, astrologically, the sun is moving through Libra. Okay. Okay? Well, the procession of the earth, the, the wobble, over the 26,000 years will systematically put the sun in a different constellation in the month of October. Right. Okay. So the entire zodiac rotates through the calendar. Wow. In fact, when the zodiac was codified two and a half thousand years ago, wait a minute, that's like one twelfth of twenty six thousand. Oh my gosh! So is October still the month for Libra? No, the sun was in Libra two thousand years ago in October. All of that has shifted, and so if you thought you were Libra, you're actually Scorpio right, right now. And that's when the sun gets all sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were fluent in this. <laughs> so the, the Zodiac people, the astrologers, still describe the sun being in these various constellations as they were mapped out 2,200 years ago, right. between 2,000 and 2,400 years ago. And so if you're it's Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini... You would expect the sun to be in that constellation the day you were born. It was 2,200 years ago. Oh, man, that is so... It is not today. Oh. It's all shifted. And they don't really, they're not really forthcoming about that. No, because if they were, then all <laughs> of astrology would be bull crap. <laughs> that is... Oh, man. Oh, Yo, wait, not man. only that, not only that, the, 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 the zodiac, the, the sun in the zodiac actually passes through... A, a 13th constellation. It's called Ophiuchus. All right. God bless you. <laughs> Ophiuchus. And <laughs> Ophiuchus. <laughs> Ophiuchus. <laughs> wow. So, okay. In fact, the sun spends more time in Ophiuchus than it does in Scorpius. Okay. So, if you thought you were Scorpio, you were probably Ophiuchan, and all Scorpios and Ophiuchans are currently Librans. Wow. I just thought I'd put that out there. I, I, I just want to know, where, where does that leave cancer? Because that's what I am. Okay. Oh, you're cancer? I'm, yeah. I'm a cancer, so. So cancer is one of the lamest constellations ever constructed in the night sky. Damn. That There's like five stars, and they have like 
a crab with claws and it's a crustacean. It's like, what were you smoking? What, what opium was working in your system to say, oh, let's call that a crab? Man, you just, I can't believe this. It's like, one, I got a lousy constellation. Two, they made- Well, plus those stars aren't very bright. And they're not, okay. The, I, I got a lot of if you ask if you ask astrologers they there are 12 prominent constellations in the sky no they're not <laughs> most of them so, there's like three that kind of look like what they're supposed to i got so, a lousy yeah. dim constellation they made me into a stupid bottom feeder crab and on top of that i'm a festering malignancy so yes which they named after crabs right yes oh god yes oh man cancer is it too late to be a sagittarius where's where's <laughs> cancer now where's <laughs> I got. I don't know. I don't yeah. keep it. I, I haven't memorized that. I'll, I'll come back to you on another episode. Okay. All right. We got to call it quits there. Just to round out everything you didn't need to know about the North Star and its brethren. Very cool. Star Talk explainers. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up.